Hey everybody! I'm back with another unboxing and today we are unboxing Disney Pixar's Toy Story 4 Barbie. Um, this one came out for the um, now in theaters Toy Story 4. A little bit of a spoiler alert so um, don't chew me for saying it. Barbie doesn't have a main part. Um, she basically is not a main character at all in Toy Story. She is in it, though, so there there is a justification in the doll. Uh, so on the back here it says Barbie. And it says, it's a new chapter in the lives of Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and the Toy Story gang. From their new kid Bonnie's house to an exciting road trip, they'll encounter friends, old and new, and, all, and faces of all kinds of adventures along the way. And it says Barbie.com in the back. It says warning small parts. Um, it's not uh, recommended for kids under the age of three. So three plus. Box is pretty simple. It just says Toy Story 4 on the side with a little bit of box art. Uh, not too much going on on there. But it does show you Barbie in her uh, Disney Pixar form. And then Barbie up here. Um, I do appreciate that they went old school with her face. That they kept um, her uh, kind of that 80s early 90s look of Barbie. Uh, they did throw in some extra articulation. Uh, we're just gonna, you know, go ahead and open her up out of her box. I know most people are probably keeping her in her box because of their collectors and it's a collector's edition, but that's why we're opening her. <laughs> so I will be right back. I'm gonna get her out of her box. Okay, so here she is unboxed. Um, first of all, let me go on saying I'm kind of bummed that she doesn't come with a stand. Um, I'm assuming that she's not, I guess, a collector's edition when I what I assumed she was, but anyhow, um, yeah, I wish that we had thrown a stand in. I think she retailed for maybe fifteen ninety nine, if I'm remembering correctly. fifteen ninety nine or sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I picked her up at Walmart, I think. Um, let's see. Her bangs are very, very stiff, so they're stuck in that curl position. As a collector, I'm actually excited about that because it keeps it from going flat. Um, regular Play Barbies from this time had the hair like this, but as she got played with, it would just kind of split apart and it would be hard to keep. Um, her hair uh, is done up in a top ponytail and a bright pink elastic. Um, there's no more product in it, so it's pretty soft. It might be a little, a tad bit maybe to keep it, to keep it uh, together, but it's very moist. I mean, very soft and very, yeah, moist because it's not dry or anything. So a little bit of curl at the end. It's got that dirty blonde look there. Uh, her eyes, you, can, you guys can see, they're very pretty. Uh, they're a light blue with a pink eyeshadow. And she has pink lips that are open. You can see her teeth. It is the classic uh, maybe 80s, early 90s looks look of, of Barbie. Uh, her head, and she also has dimples. Her head goes back and forth and up and down. I think it's on the classic ball joint. Uh, the joint type things that Barbie gets. I'm not going to pull her head off to show you guys. Uh, her shoulder, her arms move up and down and out. She basically has um, the made to move Barbie arms. Her, her arms do move up. Maybe not. Maybe that is a different joint than made to move Barbie. I don't know. I don't have any. So uh, I can't really compare her to anyone, but uh, I'm knocking everything over as I do it. But her, her elbow joints move up and down and side to side and then her arms go up and down like this so um yeah she's got a lot of articulation in her arms I don't know if she has any in her waist nope she's solid in her waist and her legs her legs oh no she has articulation in her legs so yeah her legs move up and down and, and uh back and forth and I think her toes might well I think she has a solid foot but let's see Okay, she has a solid flat foot, um, not pointed like some of the Barbies, but um, yeah, and then obviously her legs her legs move up and down like this, and then side to side, so she's got a lot of articulation. She basically is a made-to-move Barbie, so yeah, um, and then she has the pink sneakers, I guess I'll, show you the, I'll show you those close up. Um, there is no, it says Barbie, B for Barbie on the bottom of them. There is no paint detail, but there's a lot of detail um, just within the rubbery plastic that they're made out of. And there's a slit in the back that makes them slip back onto the her foot. Obviously, you saw me taking them off. She has no socks on, so there's no socks there. But um, there are um, leg warmers, and the leg warmers do are removable. They're not part of the 
outfit. Let's see if I can get one off for you. So here is the leg warmer removed, and of course the leg warmer is made up of um, light blue, pink, and bright yellow with a little bit of white in between all colors. So, and they're made classic. They're really, really thick fabric. They're made just like Barbie used to be made uh, back in the day. Her belt also is removable if you ever have any reason to remove her belt. Um, it's like a ribbony, a ribbony satin color um, type of fair, uh, it's like a ribbon material. And then it has, um, a plastic metallic silver button, uh, buckle on it to make it look like a, bolt, a belt. Uh, her suit itself is one piece. And the seams all seem to be pretty good. She's got really good seams on, on, on them. And, uh, it, it does, right around the hip area though, I notice it's a little frumpy. I don't know if it's supposed to make her look like make make her look like she has a wider hip, or maybe there's something under her suit. I don't think so though. But uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna take a look maybe and check. Nope, just molded on underwear that say Barbie all over them. I thought maybe for some reason that there might be. Okay, the seams are just really really thick underneath. Uh, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather take a thick a thick seam than no seam or. Or, um, <laughs> the plastic rubber f or molded on stuff that everybody seems to be the trending right now doing. So that's pretty cool. And then on the inside, if you guys can see that, uh, she has the, um, official Barbie, si see if I can get that to focus. Barbie signature tag in silk on the inside, so that's good. I don't know, overall, I'm pretty happy with her. Like I said, it is a bummer she didn't come with a stand. Um, she's the weird, a bit, little bit weird to me that, um, she has a classic head or yeah, I'd say classic head and her body isn't as classic. So it's almost kind of like a, um, a budget bar, a budget body mixed with a made to move body. And so, uh, it's after they did the body, the whole body makeover with Barbie. So the head's not part of that makeover and the body is so she's got how do I say this without sounding crude um her her chest size is a lot smaller than it would have been uh back in the 80s when this head and this bodysuit was uh into play so that I think she, that's why she looks a little bit weird to me I think but um either way like uh, like I said overall she's actually pretty good she's she's perfectly made um, her outfit's good quality, uh, although it's very simple, it's very good quality, and, um, I am happy with her overall, so, um, uh, let me know in the comments below if you've picked her up and how you guys feel about the new, um, Barbie from Toy Story 4. Um, other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.